Thomas was still in the shed. It seemed like a very long day. <sighs> At least I don't have to wear my snowplow like Emily. <laughs> but Emily was having a great time now. <laughs> she was having so much fun. She cleared the tracks in no time. Emily, as you have done such a good job clearing the tracks, you can take Annie and Clarabelle out on Thomas's branch line. Oh, thank you, sir. Emily was very pleased. Back at Tidmouth Sheds, Thomas was very bored. I wish I had something to do. I don't know why you don't like your snowplow, Thomas. Clearing snow is great fun. Really? And now I get to take Annie and Clarabelle out on your branch line. Thomas was very surprised. But they're my coaches. That's my job. You can't go out today, Thomas. Not without your snowplow. Thomas watched as Emily was coupled up to Annie and Clarabelle. See you later, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Hope your snowplow turns up soon. Thomas wasn't happy at all. He wished he could go out in the snow with Annie and Clarabelle. Then Thomas had an idea. If I get my snowplow, the Fat Controller will let me pull Annie and Clarabelle. So Thomas puffed quietly away. Thomas looked for the siding where he had left his snowplow. But none of the sidings had been cleared. They were all covered in snow. They all looked the same. Oh, no! The snow has covered up my snowplow and hidden it. Thomas didn't want to go back to the shed. He wanted to pull Annie and Clarabelle in the snow. Maybe I don't need my snowplow. After all, Emily has cleared my line. So Thomas puffed away to find Emily. Then there was trouble. It started to snow again. I must find Emily. I must find Emily. Thomas puffed as hard as he could through the falling snow. Oh! 